Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Oxen Free. Uh, when I last left you guys, we had just entered the cave. So let's see what happens inside the cave. Not sure what's going on here. Uh, that's weird. Oh! What the hell? Why is she stopping? What in the world's going on? Am I not able to go here? It seems a little bit of a bug there. I don't know why she didn't just go. Cause... Jonas, seriously, where are you? Seems like should just be able to tap when she'd climb. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Without waiting Jesus, for me. You scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming- Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. 
What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Alex! 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 
Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You all right? Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call... Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower, they're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... Don't touch. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. I don't know. This is kind of exciting. Right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... All right. I guess. If you want to play it safe, never play on the railroad tracks, right? I've had my fill. Let's just leave. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really... Really not in the Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Garden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988, it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. Told you. Locked. Just have a little faith. C. 
see. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. How does this thing... It might work if... Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still... Ren, just... It's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the worst thing ever. Ren, are you all right? Like physically all right? Cause I know mentally you're no, probably- No, I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all right? I probably sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman Wait, or- Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And John. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I, I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't, I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't no, care... No, just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat it out for an hour. Sound logic. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. To get this done, uh, get off this rock SOS? like the mayday, badasses mayday, we are. Um, CQD. CQD. Yeah. Right, come quick, danger. It's um dead. Did you get anyone? I don't think so. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know.
just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yeah, okay, but what does it all mean? That's between you and your priest. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. Yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. This is, like, only the front door. Just wait. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do... Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. Yeah, and what's your point? That you'd be better off having a horse? When I got tired, you could eat it. All right, settle down. I just want to make sure you know where it is. I do. That's all I want to hear. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of... Whatever's happening right now. But, you know, every- Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old, you're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, 
famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the... Hmm, I'm not sure why I'm allowed up there if I can't go right. I'm not sure what the point was. Now I'm curious. I want to go back and see if I can. Weird, I don't think there's a way to go back. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. Alright, it wants me to save around. Maybe that's why. But I really wanted to s figure out why it, what's up there in case there's some extra little thing. Is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge? Yeah, it doesn't really look safe, does it? It looks less than oh, welcoming. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. But um, yeah, the bridge doesn't look particularly secure. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. <sighs> Jonas. I'm just saying, maybe he's dead. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. I'll be fine. Just say what I need to do. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... Please, I can handle pulling two switches. I really just don't like 
I can't think of a way to delicately put this. What? Someone with two X chromosomes doing it? Someone who shaves her legs? That is not it, okay? But sure, if you want to be the one to get cooked, go ahead. If you're gonna pull it, you might as well do it. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? We might have just broken it. Ever think of that? I did think of that, but it's not like it's our fault the door slammed shut, so I don't know. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Uh, any ideas? The, uh, light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's a transmission or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry about our bad luck. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? I think the door opening and closing on its own is a little worse than a chair, Jonas. Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so... Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin, so come on, let's go. The Catbird Station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect... It says it's the... I don't know, Catbird station? And the call sign is weird, 
The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. What a night, huh? Yeah, tonight's not exactly what I expected. Um, what does that mean? You said, what a night, I was just... I'm just saying, this, this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Yeah, you're right, stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is like, really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. Praise the Lord. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. So you're saying you were expecting it to? I half was. But it didn't. So... You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean... I mean, that's what... Yeah, but I mean, who cares now? It's not like I'll ever come back here again. <laughs> well, you say that now. Some people camp here, but... It's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean. You, didn't you already say that? Did I? I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. <laughs> Why was it so bad? There just was nothing to do. And my parents wanted to give me a good time, and they couldn't, and I could tell. I don't know. I look back on it now, and those dumb trips are kind of like, they're just containers for... I don't know, the memories that I have with her. Nowadays, I think what stuff happens matters more than where stuff happens. But, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. After tonight, I might disagree, though. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you.
Wait, wasn't this... We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren... Jonas, it... don't you hear yourself? You've already asked me this twice. I have? I don't really remember that, but... Yes, you have! Yes, I came here as a kid a lot. It's like your brain keeps resetting every hundred steps. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? We keep repeating this one moment for some... <sighs> reason. God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling. This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, shut up. Take that. Ball. Um. Who's there? So it's just. I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Alright, who are you? Alright, who are you? Maybe don't antagonize who. Uh, alright, let's not, um, make it weird now. Radio people. I think they have a sense of. Hey, come on! Oh my god. <sighs> my doctor's not gonna be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Alex, I think. We're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Maybe. What else could it be? I mean, really. At least- I would say ghosts, okay, I would, but what about the weird repeating stuff? You're not remembering what we've been doing? That, that, yeah. Okay, this is, this is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Okay, I'm really digging this game. Um, not sure what's going on, but I like the whole mystery, and I like the pace. I like that they talk while you're walking. A lot of games, you have to stop and listen to them talking. I really like that you could just keep moving and the conversation continues. It keeps the pace nice. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep playing even though... <laughs> What's happening? Tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way out, or... <sighs> it's alright. We must have just missed... Um... Something. I, um, it was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this, I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Talked to you? What, uh, what did it say? Or was it, like, anything you could even... It said that I should tell Michael to stay with Clarissa. Which is, of course, totally useless advice for Doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. You know, at some point, this is all gonna make sense. 
I just hope it happens before we leave. Huh. This is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did... Uh, feel any better? Maybe... Remember all the times we trekked through here now? No, not really. I mean, I remember the ball thing, but that... I guess that didn't just happen, right? I don't know, I feel like I just woke up from a dream. Everything's so vague. Let's just keep going and get Ren. I'm so glad our families are uniting, Alex. This will be a grand adventure for the two of us. Sure. What do you think they want? The, um... I think it's usually, like, justice. Or something. Vengeance. Yeah. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while. And that's it. Okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't. Okay, just calm down. This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So, I get it. This whole crazy night's just broken your brain. Shut up. She's kidding. She's kidding. We're here to help you. I don't know why you are here. So, just look. You're not going to talk about my grandfather. You're just going to stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. We're here because we think Ren is somewhere in the woods. Have you seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. Just I'm... hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just... Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... No, Nona, you should really come with us. It's better to stick together. Better for who? Nona, come on. For everyone, for all of us. No. Ugh. And the comm tower is... where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me. Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. Thank you. 
remember this. The two Jacks carved their... Uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they... Stop. <laughs> uh. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing- Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? Um, it kind of depends. You'd think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? Um, I think your smarts are probably about average. I guess the national mean. The national mean? Yeah, all right, I can live with that. Ah, huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever um, built or whatever on the island back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It... used to, I think. Dredged by Franciscan friars, this freshwater well was never actually used, as the missionaries quickly decided the island wouldn't suit their ministering needs and abandoned the project in 1852. It was utilized by Spanish pioneers for a while, until it became a secondary resource for mining companies to get clean water. The U.S. Navy ended up digging their own, more modern water pipeline, but servicemen and women would come here frequently for off-site meetings and day events. Dredged by Franciscan friars... Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? <sighs> good to see you're okay. It's bad out there. No, I'm good. I'm just glad you're here. 
Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Damn it, I think we're, we're looping again. Oh, oh, really? Man, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't. I mean, right? I mean, it's not like... I mean, I'm glad someone can tell, but... I'm more worried about the... There's your boy. Ren, you idiot! We had to clump all over the forest to find you. Couldn't you have met us halfway? Um... Ren? Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, What's so... he doing? Come on, is he like, alive here. sleepwalking? I don't know how Ren? he, like, fell asleep during there? all this. Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to like... Ren! I hope you have a plan B. I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So, I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Where'd Ren go? He was standing right- Ren! Are you still here? This island has had many owners. Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long, preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II, and decided to take control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. This island has had many owners. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Um... Crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? What's... what's happening to him? I have no idea. I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Well, I'm not leaving him, so that's not even an option. No, obviously. Unless we got, like, really, really scared, then, you know. Helping him, hopefully. I don't know.
this. Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Power to talk through child. Feels... Stretched. Better. No. What are you? In... Between. Fastened. But. Loose. Grounded. But. Do not. Be stood. You are dolls. Would. Never. Plot. Hurt. You. Can. Vote. Hurt. You. Can we, uh, help you? Or? Leave. Possible. I, I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't. Grounded. Bye. Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Peggy Adler, that old woman? What does she have to do with it? That old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit. Still. Bear fruit. Tag. God, you guys. God, Ren. Man. You're alive. I am. I am. Well, why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this? Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. We're in big trouble, Ren. Really big trouble. We need to call somebody or get a boat, but we need to get out of here. It's ghosts. She doesn't want to say it, but it's ghosts. And you were possessed by one. <sighs> that doesn't... That doesn't seem like it'd be part of a healthy lifestyle. God, does anyone... Is this thing working? No. If anyone can hear this, out there, in a... Whatever. I, I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like... We should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. So... Are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or... Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't put it that way, but... Can you even make it there? Can I even make it there? Well, you did just have a specter wearing you like a suit. And all that's left is a little indigestion. I'll be fine. All right. Well, guess we're going that away. so we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. I believe in you! <laughs> right back at you. Milner Ho? Ho. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? 
Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like, the direct result of some government secret project. Like, what if there's some, um, experiment? No way, Jonas! Come on. Conspiracies are comforting because they explain what can't be explained. Well, there is an explanation. I mean, no matter how ridiculous, there is one. <laughs> Whatever. Like, it's not locked. There's, like, something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking? I think... We should keep looking. You're probably right. It's never too late to make dessert. Not any- <laughs> What the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer's no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and- Sure. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Uh, don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code-breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication...
See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a, a snub nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying... Well you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? But just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. There Look, Jonas. Girls go for assholes, and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. Ah, uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kinda, I don't know, kinda morbid. Let's just find that girl and get out of here. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kinda like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Clarissa, hold up! Jonas, what happened? Are you all right? Jonas, let me in. I'm not in the mood. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. The door opened, like, a second ago. Can't you... Are you sure you're just not turning the knob the right way, or...? I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this... 
Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Are you okay? A little shaken up? Well, we blew past nap time a while ago, but... yeah. I'm actually better than fine. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of... huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Here's always been it's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. It didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. Jonas, really? Please, can you not wait just until we're back outside? I really, really can't. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Okay, this is getting long, so I'm going to take a break here. I'll be back later with more. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.